um, local Houston artists to come up with something that floats. And there, um, it can't hurt the pond, it has to be non-biogradable, so nothing happens to the water and it's got to float. So it's been fun. All right, very good. I, we love the floating art out there. My favorite is the camel, although it looks like the iceberg may be getting the better of the camel out there, I'm not sure. And the camel has a solar panel on it, and when the sun is out, water comes through the camel's nostrils. Of course Very it does. Artistic. Well, Why not? Of course it does. Absolutely. Hey, Lanny, if I yes. remember this correctly, didn't you at one time uh, in past years have dancers in the water behind we, you? Last year at this time, we had dancers in the water doing an aquatic dance number, which was a visual you had to see to believe. I huh. remember. So none this year? Yeah, well, no, we're, we're doing flamingo this time. Okay. okay. All Just right. as good. Dryer. <laughs> it is drier. Thanks, That's, Lanny. Thanks, Lanny. Big art fest downtown. Hopefully, they're not using watercolors. <laughs> they might run this weekend with more. Here's the landing. All right, thanks, Matt. Yes, the event is downtown Houston. We're talking with Stephen Marchioni, and you uh, build guitars. That's right. I'm a guitar maker, and I'll be down here demonstrating instruments over the weekend in my construction. I design guitars and build them and just love working with the instrument and with musicians. So. Houston is a big guitar town. You're going to have a lot of people out here watching you build guitars. Oh, I love being in Houston and Texas. It's a great place to make instruments and, and uh, be fun showing people how I do it and what I do. I'm lo looking forward to it. And I'm guessing you actually sell the guitars too. I, I do ah. sell guitars all over the place. Wow, I'm making money. There's an idea. Yeah, I'm, I sell internationally. Um, I have a great market overseas, Europe and Japan too. Too. Well, very good. We're glad you're here. Thank Lynette, you. what we're surprised about is the amount of art that is sold here at this event every year. Oh, yes. It's between four and six million dollars uh, total between the 300 artists. And, and it's all different kinds of art. It's contemporary, it's traditional, it's furniture, it's jewelry, it's everything. And these artists come from all over North America and around the world, correct? Yes, yes. Out of the 800 that apply, the 300 that get it chosen are literally all 50 states and several countries. All right, very good. We'll uh, drive you to our website right now. Go to myfoxhouston.com, uh, and we've linked you up to the uh, Bay City Art Fest. We'll read all about it. Lots of uh, great art down here, 300 artists, and lots of food, and lots of live entertainment, guys. Back to you. Sounds like a good time. Thanks, Lanny. Bayou City Art Festival gets underway this weekend. Lanny staking out City Hall live with a preview of it all. Hey, Landman. Hey, guys. We're live at City Hall where everything's happening this weekend in downtown Houston. We've been watching a lovely flamingo dancer. We'll talk to this lady's mom, Maria del Esperin. Tell us about flamingo dancing. You yourself are a dancer, are you not? Yes, I am. And uh, flamenco dancing, I guess, to, to us is probably the best expression of every emotion you can imagine because we have happy dances, we have sad dances, it covers everything. It's the best therapy and good exercise too. And when, when the folks come out uh, this weekend, we'll, you'll see your daughter dancing and other flamingo dancers? Yes, we have uh, my company, the Les Padin Baile Español, and uh, we have about uh, almost 15, 15 people. Wow, yeah. that'll be a lot of dancing going yes, on. Yes, it will, yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Lynette Wallace with the show. You've been with the show almost 12 years? Yeah, I'm on my 12th year. And how many artists are coming again this year? We have 300 artists from all over the country in three foreign countries. And for those of us longtime Houstonians, this began as the Westheimer Colony Art Fest. Yes, on Westheimer, the crazy party of the 70s and early 80s, and as our patrons matured, we matured, and now we're the fourth um, best art festival in the country. So. All right, you can read all about it by going to our website at myfoxhouston.com. We've linked up with the Bayou City Art Festival. It's, again, it's tomorrow and Sunday here at City Hall in downtown Houston and in Sam Houston Park. Tom and Patty, have a great weekend. Happy Friday to everyone. Excellent. Thank you, Lanny. Thanks, okay. Lanny. Well, mothers, fathers, and children are downtown this weekend for an annual fall tradition. The Bayou City Arts Festival is going on. Over 300 artists are in the area of the Sam Houston Park. A new and approved children's zone is also up and running. The festival ends tomorrow afternoon. Es hora de Noticias 45 Univision a las 5. Pero el cierre de algunas carreteras no ha sido un impedimento para que cientos de personas hayan salido hoy a disfrutar del buen clima. Marina Hernández en una, es una de ellas y eso por eso nos va a decir cómo está la situación, qué cara le ha dado el tiempo.
Adelante. Pues. Bueno, que esté un poco nublado, muchos se han asustado, pero los miles que han venido aquí, no son centenares, sino miles que han venido aquí al centro de la ciudad, al Festival de Arte Bayou City, lo han disfrutado porque esta nubosidad no ha traído precipitación. Actualmente nuestras temperaturas muy agradables, 79 grados, humedad alta en un 64, 65% y los vientos provenientes del este sureste. Tenemos posibilidad de lluvia mínima en un 20%. Hay un frente que se acerca, ahora sí que de regreso. En lugar de venir del norte, viene del sur, así que es un frente caliente. De eso le voy a hablar más adelante porque nos va a traer la posibilidad de precipitación. A partir de esta noche le voy a decir qué tanta en el segmento del tiempo.